hi guys i'm super super excited in this wonderful video i'm gonna show you guys how to create a wise account successfully so without further ado guys let's dive right into it welcome back guys i'm chico original this is the channel where future players are still into learning the tips on how to make money online how to invest their money and make their money work for them so in this topic, I'm going to show you guys how to create a wise account successfully in Nigeria. So this is why it's done to come. I'll leave a link below in the description box so you can easily access this one of the website. Why is it just an e-wallet website that has almost all the bank accounts in the world, money for here and there and everywhere. So they cover up to 175 countries, 50 currencies. You get the account and build and save money around the world. So you can open an account, send money now, which I'll show you guys in a quick. How the accounts work, as you can see, they offer Australian dollar, British pounds, Canadian dollar, Euro. They offer a lot of accounts here, so you can see a lot of things here. So let me click on the top right corner and click on register. It take you to the next interface where it asks you for your email address, so you can start creating an account. So I'll add an email address here. So this is Chido Original Two Four Seven at Gmail dot com. This is my official email in case you want to contact me for you know, business purposes. So you can transact and all that so this is it then click on all right so next it will prompt you if this is a personal or business account all right so the next interface you select if it's a personal or business account and this is the next interface select your country so here i can choose nigeria nigeria is blocked so i can use south africa or any other south african country that is available then click all right so under the next interface they prompt you to put your phone number here you can select the number you want right and here you can change it back to the nigerian number in case you don't have the country you choose earlier like south africa which i did then you add your code your phone number here for verification sake you know so that they can verify your account and make sure you are the one then they will send you an OTP code and confirm the phone number you added. Alright, so next interface is to add your password. So make sure you use a strong password because this has to do with your money and funds, you know. So make sure you use a strong password. Click on continue. Alright, after adding your business details, next interface to add your country, your address, your city, and postal code. Then after that, you click on continue. So this is next interface. Help us verify your account faster. You can choose a category. Your uh, business falls under. Once you choose a category, then you fill the category, subcategory, you know, your website, you know, you say affiliate with Amazon, eBay, and all that. Then you select your size of business, right? If it's two to ten numbers or employees, up to one, 11 or 50 employees, or whatever, and click on to confirm your trending address. So click on confirm. Then here's where you fill the whole information that you need. Like your full name, make sure it's your legal name as it appears on the government issued ID card. You know, you add your date of birth, your country, you know, your address and all that. So let me do this real quick. First name and last name. So I'm doing this for a client. So if you're interested in me creating an account for you like this, I can create an account for you if you're interested. That will work for you. If you're interested in that, let me know. Right, my contact information is better on the screen as well as on my description box so here is where you are going to add the date of birth so this guy is on 9th of june 9th of june 1984 right then you put your country of residence which is malaysia for this account then you add the address you want to use for this i'm going to use this address it's a malaysian address Right, so add this address here. Then here you can add the city of the address. Then after adding the city, you add the postal code. So here's the postal code for this. Then you click on come. Under this interface, you ask what can we help your business with you to collaborate with your team, collect e commerce sales, receive overseas payments, pay people an invoice, connect to accounting tools. You can skip this step for now, you can leave this letter. So, once you are done with that, then they will take you to the next interface. 
which is to fund your account you know you have to fund your account just to make sure your account is okay so sorry you can't make malaysia to do this transfer transfers right now so you can switch this to united states you know you can change how much you want to transfer and say 20 dollars here then you click on continue we can choose same currency as well 20 usd let me keep things over here then click on continue right so any amount you want all right so next thing after you have done you have added the funds to your account is to verify your account using the government should id card and bank statement to verify your identity and that's all as you are done with that your account is fully created right so uh, the client i'm doing this for wants to verify the account himself that's why i didn't do it in this video but if you are interested in me creating an account for you just hit me up again my contact information is first thing the jump box hit me up so we can transact right there's a banner passing below on your screen if you are interested in any of the services rendered there you can hit me up maybe you want to draw paper funds or create a paypal account or buy paper funds or your limited account hit me up again my whatsapp my telegram all of them information is yeah, available on your screen as well as on the description box and that being said guys i will see you guys on my next video